Hey, all doing today? Catfish Rednecks back. I got a pod review for you today. I've uh, never grown this before. Got some seeds off of a Facebook group this spring. Or the King Star Lemon Starburst. Uh, yeah, I accidentally broke this branch while I was uh, trying to pull this pod. So I'll just be using those two peppers in my uh, supper or something the next few days. Anyway, uh, this grow, I grew this in a bucket, this actual one here. Got some in the garden too. Uh, man, it's loaded with peppers. So what we're going to do is try this one today. I've never had one. Alright, look at that. Beautiful color on those. Slice it open. Have a look. Smell it already. It smells hotter than uh, it's supposed to be, I believe. This thing smells hot. Here's the inside of it here. Nice and fresh. No bugs. No black. No critters. All right, let's go take a peek. Man, that smells hot. Oil. A lot of oil on that one. All right, folks, I'm a little scared. This smells hot. It does have a habanero citrus smell. I ate some brain strains the other night on my pizza. They were pretty hot, so I... Hopefully I'll be ready for this one. Alright folks, I'm going to uh, take some seeds out of here. Uh, if you're interested, you know what to do. Drop a comment down there if you're interested in growing this pepper. And uh, all you got to do is drop a comment. And I will uh, get some of these out to one of you. Quite a few in there. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's do two. I'll pick two up out of the comments. And uh, if you're interested in growing this pepper, let me know down there. And uh, I'll take care of two of you. Alright, we're going to pop the stem off. Alright, folks, look at that one. That's kind of got a scorpion look to it. So. Yeah, getting a real strong habanero smell from it. Got that almost exact same fruity smell to it as a habanero. Uh, Alright folks, I'm not going to sit here all day and be a wuss. It's been a while since I ate a fresh pod. Uh, I've been ate some on a, like I said, chopped up on pizza and whatnot, but... Hey, the garden's there, man. I got a lot of ripe peppers, so it's uh, time to start doing these reviews. Fruity. It does have a lot of that resemblance to a habanero. More fruity than earthy. Heat wise so far, not too bad. Starting to creep up. A lot of resemblance to habanero, heat wise. Smell. That citrusy floral flavor. Not too bad. I uh, feel it going down. It does have more heat than I actually thought they did. Um, like I said, so far I'll, I'll rate that right with a habanero. It's, I don't know about the Scoville's on these peppers, uh, where they rate in the pepper scale. But it's it's got a bite to it. It's pretty warm. Uh, no bad aftertaste. 
That's a good pod. I said it's my first year growing it, so I really didn't know what to expect. Got a little burn in my chest. Uh, yeah, I'll drop a comment down here if you want to grow this pe pepper. I'll send, uh, oh, about a dozen, a dozen out to each uh, comment that I pick. Burn-wise, on a scale from 1 to 10, go about a 4 on that one. Like I said, I felt it going down. I got a little bit of whiskey chest. Uh, burn on the right side of my tongue where I chewed pretty good. Slight in the back of the throat, not too bad. Lips. A little bit of tangle. That's pretty good pepper. It's pretty hot. It's uh, I wouldn't put that in a super hot range, but it's it's right there with a the habanero, I would say. Uh, as far as one I grew, uh, I don't know. You know, there's probably a lot of variance in the uh, heat scale on these, depending on where they're grown, how they're grown, if the plants are stressed, etc. So I don't know. I'm just giving you what uh, mine tastes like, my thoughts on it. Uh, for the average Joe, yeah, you're not going to want to eat these on uh, food every day. They're going to be a little bit too much for you. Uh, diced up, of course, use them sparingly. But a whole one like that, yeah, they're pretty boring. All right, so drop me a comment, guys. If you want to grow these, I'll send, a, about, like I said, about 12 out to each uh, person I pick. We'll uh, get that done here in a week or two. Let everybody get to comment. I'll show you the oil on this before I drop out of here. Got a lot more pies. Got a lot more hot sauce. So stay tuned, folks. Uh, been working on my new project. Got a new pontoon boat. So kind of been absent. I've been doing a lot of boat work this year. Restored my little one, and now I got a pontoon that I'm working on. So okay. Uh, be some videos. Hopefully, get a video a review video off that pontoon here. Uh, maybe next weekend. All right, folks. This is Catfish Redneck. You can make them out there. Alright, drop me a comment, guys, if you want to grill this pepper. Peace out, man. Peace out.